What's up guys, I have a uh, new knife um, that I just got in. This is the Zero Tolerance Knives 0022. And in case you didn't know, it's a very small knife. Um, fits inside my hand, no problem. Um, one of the reasons, uh, if you guys have followed my channel, um, let me just measure the uh, blade for you. Yeah, it's about under two inches. So the whole thing is less than five inches. So, small knife. Uh, but if you guys don't know, I have a lot of, or I guess I got about five or six small, uh, under two and a half inch knives. And that's because where the building I work in, they don't allow, um, knives with blades over two and a half inches it's really really dumb rule so when i see uh, smaller knives come out that are that are made really good uh you know with good materials and stuff i, I tend to jump on them so um knife crazy had this for sale um and he had a good deal on it so i just couldn't pass it by so i'll be carrying this for work um just to show real quick how it looks it does have a pocket clip and it does work it just some some of it's going to stick out just a little bit um no lanyard hole on here that was surprising normally small knives will have a lanyard hole because um you could put a lanyard and then have your your last couple fingers to grab onto something but as you can see here it is a two finger knife dedicated in the uh maybe half of your third finger can fit on there does have very nice jimping right here um flipper tab i always like the geometry where it lines up with the um back like that and just like a triangle um coming out so it does have good action has good um it has good detent strength now um it's on ball bearings and i don't think that this has been taken apart and it has like I feel like it can have better action, so I'm going to take down the knife today and on camera and show you guys what's what it looks like on the inside. Um, let me place this mat down here to kind of um, protect my background. I got a, a background. Um, oh, okay, so both, both of them use T8. So all I'm going to do when I take this apart is um, put, add some clean it out add some oil to the bearings um this did come very good nicely centered so i'll try to return it centered also it does have a lot of loctite on there at least it's blue but that was kind of hard to get out now this is anodized uh titanium ring right there anodized barrel and if you've seen any of uh the us usa blades mm, Oh man, that has a lot of Loctite. That was really hard. Now I'm glad it's different than other ZT knives. So it has a nice caster pivot, so that's not a that's not a problem. The 0470 just had a ton of Loctite and wow, look at all that Loctite. And that's some white stuff. So trying to get this ring out. Yeah, if you've seen what I was saying though, if you've seen the uh, USA Made Blades uh, website, you've seen the, them do a lot of different anodizing. Um, Ed JD Cutlery does some anodizing for these. And there, got it out. Okay, so does have a, a um, a steel ring there for the bearings to run on so that's good I want to get this little guy out to just see maybe if I want to do some anno work while I got it open um, okay now it's got some milling going on here for the bearings to sit on here and then this side is no bearings but wow it's pretty dirty in there so or whatever they use is not 
not very good probably or it's not as good as it can be so I guess you know what uh, while I have it out let's let's go ahead and try to anodize these uh, standoffs so the screw goes directly into the standoff so if I want to um, if I want to anodize this backspacer I'm gonna have to take the screw out of this side oh and it's free spinning just great now let me see my options for this huh. Let, I guess I'm going to take a wrench and clamp down on it with a cloth so it doesn't hopefully doesn't scar it that much and I don't know if it's rotating or not actually I, yeah it's not working Okay, um, I don't know if I feel like getting into this right now. Um, you know what, I'll try, I'll try, I'm going to pause it, I'm going to get the soldering gun, and I'm going to solder this, and then I'll come back. Alright guys, I got it off, I just um, clamped down on it, and and unscrewed it. So, hold on one more second. Alright, so I got everything apart, and I decided to... Go ahead and while well, I have it apart to just go ahead and try to anodize the whole thing, I guess. So I think I'm gonna go like a bronze and green and then maybe do some uh yeah, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. I'll just mess around. Uh first thing I will uh take the color off these guys. So And I don't think I'm going to etch this one. I think I'm just going to leave it <clears throat> like that. Uh, let's, I'll come back when the pieces are cleaned off. So, Alright, I got them in there. Um, I think I want these actually to be like green. And then somehow have this bronze with green. I'm not sure if that is going to be possible. Let me think about that. Yeah, I think all of it will have to be green and then and then I I'll, I'll have to sand down a little and get bronze. So, let's see here. Let me plug this thing in. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to like re etch this. Um, but in the meantime, let's see if I can make these guys turn green. I'm gonna re etch the um, the handle and um, and come back to it. Okay, so that looks like a pretty good green. I'm at 92.3. Let's go, maybe we should go a little bit higher. There's 93. Okay, I guess that's pretty good. That's a pretty good green. Let's try this guy. And it's not quite the same color. Pretty close though. I think that's pretty close. Um, yeah, it's really close. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is grab this scale. 
I'm gonna I'm gonna etch etch the scale and then I'm going to put it back in with the same same voltage. So let me pause again. Alright guys, I'm back. So let's try to get this green too. I was thinking I might just um leave all three parts green and then have it contrast with the black um handle, so we'll see. We'll see how it turns out. It's a pretty cool turquoise color there. I think that's as green as I'm going to get. And that actually matches pretty good with um with the other parts. So, I'm actually pretty happy with that. I think I'm just going to leave all the parts green and then and then it's going to contrast with the black handle and that should be good enough. I think that will be pretty cool. So, all right, there we go, guys. So, I'm going to um Go ahead and pause it one more time, and then I, I, I guess I'll sh show the whole reassembly of the whole knife, and if um, if you guys would like that. So um, I'm gonna pause it and then um, reassemble the whole knife on camera. So hold on one second. All right, guys, I'm back. Um, so I got it, got it all out, and pretty pretty happy with the way it turned out. So I'm gonna do the the reassembly here on camera. So the first thing. I'm gonna do is put the lock bar um, insert back in, just inspecting it. The nice thing about this is uh, it was the ball it was in the insert, and so yeah, I didn't have to worry about the when I was anodizing it to, uh, to cover it up or anything like that. So that's good. So this knife came apart very easy. It um, and uh, it was T8s on the on the main standoffs, and these were T6s for the steel lock bar insert and the clip. So um, I'll put the clip on last. Now we'll do the uh, standoff. Oh yeah, they don't <laughs> they don't actually match that good. I'm wondering if I should do a different color just for the standoff since they don't match I think th these actually do match really good so I wonder if I should do a different color for the standoff uh, I don't know um, I'll just actually let me see I'm going to put the scale on just to see how it looks and wonder what color that would be good with it actually looks bl a little blue right now um yeah i just if that's going to be blue or if that's going to be a different color i think this should be a different color i don't know i really don't know hmm or maybe just that will be a different color yeah i'm not you know what i'm not going to worry about it it's just going to leave it like that for now and then uh, if something happens, or, um, if it doesn't look right, I'll, I'll change it. Actually, you know what? You guys tell me in the description which, co what color combination that you like with this knife. And then, um, whatever gets the most votes, I'll, I'll take this knife down and, and re-anodize it. So, yeah, I won't have to decide. You guys can decide. That's better like that. This standoff doesn't want to go back in. Let me see if the other one fits better. I wish the standoff was D-shaped. I think that would be a lot better. 
I don't think I'm actually turning it, so I'm gonna just hold off on that one and let's see, put the pivot back in. track the stop pin all right now this is where we can add some of our knife pivot lube um if i can find it here it is okay so put a couple drops here one on the ball okay couple on the that guy and then put this on okay put some on the blade Okay, and then put these together. Like I said, guys, this was really easy. Only has a pivot and a standoff and a stop internal stop stop pin. So very very cool, easy disassembly. And this does have a D shape or. A, a hex shape on the the other side so that makes this easy um, now let's do this standoff and we'll see if we gotta play with to get the centering back I don't hopefully we won't have to alright this is just spinning on me so I might have to take it apart again We'll see. Sometimes squeezing can help. All right. So let's see. I'm gonna take this off camera for a second. Try to push it against my rubber mat. Try it again. There we go. Okay, it just got needed some pressure on it. So, okay. Sometimes once you get pressure on it, it will, it will fix itself, but locked up good but it's not centered so what we're gonna do I'm just gonna loosen up this side and then we're gonna open the blade tighten it and then uh, let's see put something to wedge down the let me see where it's off centered okay it's off center on that side so let me wedge something down there. Hold on. Alright, I'm gonna use the end of the this bottle right here. Wedge it down in there and then tighten this up. Okay, and okay, it did center and then I'm Loosen this up a little. Okay, good, good. It's uh, centered now. So let me. Okay. Yeah, it actually feels a lot better. Like a lot, a lot better. So I'm glad I did this. A lot of times you can, you can. A lot of times if you take apart a knife, or, or actually sometimes when you take apart a, a knife, and and clean it and lube it, it doesn't 
it's not real noticeable but with this one it was so that's always a good thing okay so the black and the green I think goes pretty good together oh um, something I wanted to talk about with this is this pocket clip actually helps you to keep your hands if you when you go to flick the knife as long as you keep your your hands on this lock bar it will make it so you can flick it out good so you wanna just hold your your finger right there because if you get lock bar pressure it's not gonna come out yeah so this is this is really nice now I'm really liking this so um green and it's almost like a aqua blue standoff and then but this green matches it so and it is I'm telling you it is so much better now, so much smoother now so good lock up good centering make sure I got good centering yeah yeah I'm not gonna worry about Loctite right now um, unless it starts moving on me and then I'll come back and uh, lock Loctite it up but yeah if you guys I'm sure that none of you have restrictions like me or maybe some of you do but if you like knives that are under under two and a half inches this is another good choice for you the zero zero two two another thing this doesn't have the billboarding of who the the, the maker is I'll put up the stats right here of the knife so you can go know about it so there it is right there so you guys have a good one i'll catch you on the next one